Friday sews. Hello, hello, and welcome to Friday Sews. I'm Deb, and this is Sewing Seams with Deb. So welcome back, or welcome to the channel. And um, any new people that have subscribed, a very special welcome to you, and I'm very um, glad that you could join us and that you're enjoying the channel, and I'm really enjoying your comments. So um, a very warm welcome. Friday Sews. Um, this, were, this hashtag was created by Jen in Today in Jen's Sewing Room, and thanks, Jen. Um, and it's been going now for quite some time. And uh, if you wanted to see other people that have made Friday Sews videos with this format, all you need to do is put in hashtag Friday Sews, and it brings up all the uh, YouTubers who are participating. There's quite a lot of us now. It's very exciting, and it's great to be a part of. So in Friday Sews, we talk about what we're wearing. Always try and remember to do that anyway. Um, what we've been making, uh, what our plans might be, and often a little bit life. So it's an opportunity to just have a bit of a gas bag and talk about what's going on in the sewing room. What I'm wearing is my tried and true Sonata dress by Love Notions. Now this is the pattern. And as you can see, I made it without sleeves. Now I make, with Love Notions, I always make a size M, medium. And this um, what is a perfect fit for me. I'm really finding, and during this hot weather, during our summer, I really reach for this dress a lot. I made it one year ago in January 2023 out of some cotton linen, relatively cheap from our local spotlight. And it's just washing and wearing amazing. And um, because I'm reaching for it all the time, I need to make another one. So I did make that other one I had for Christmas, but it's not cool. It's out of the barley fabric and it's quite hot. Anyway, so the Sonata dress turning into my all-time favourite. And for those people that aren't aware, um, I am such a big Love Notions Patterns fan. Um, they just seem to fit my body quite well and I have made adjustments um, from time to time just graded out at the waist um, and it just seems to be to work a treat however this next make that I've made is again it's a love notions harmony blouse there's our pattern and I'm saying however because I'll explain in a second so there's the pattern and uh, you can make it without sleeves or with short sleeves or flutter sleeves. I uh, made this out of a Lysel linen that I also bought from Spotlight. It turned out lovely. Um, absolutely no argument about that. Fantastic instructions. There's always amazing instructions on Love Notions and um, with pictures as well. So, and the other thing that is great about Love Notions is that they're really easy to stick together in PDF format. So um, I don't have any trouble getting the accuracy. So that's a big plus. Now, with the Harmony blouse, as you can see on the video that I'm just putting up, that um, it's very blousy. I have done it with the full bust um, option. And I've made a note in my notebook to next time make the regular medium option because I feel like it's quite big. And the flowy flowy is the actual pattern and it's more a tunic style. So it sort of more hangs out of the garment. And I like things to cinch in a little bit at the waist. So um, I have tried it um, tucking in. And so I'm back to that situation where I'm bonding with it. So I'll wear it a few times, see how I like it. I will keep it because it's, I believe it's going to be really good for things like yoga. And I do go to yoga a lot and exercise. So um, it'll be great for that sort of format or that sort of occasion because um, the fabric will breathe and it's, 
with yoga um, or not just yoga any exercise really if you've got fabric that's breathing it's much more comfortable um, when you do sweat <laughs> sorry for details when you do sweat with um, the activity um, it sort of doesn't stick to you anyway so that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it so that's what I think I'll probably end up doing with this top it's a lovely lovely pattern um, and it fits really well except for the bust option as I said it's a good length I went with the length that um, I didn't shorten or lengthen it I probably could shorten it next time which is another way to do it the shoulders seem to sit really well in a good position and the flutter sleeves are lovely so overall I really like it um, and uh, I just need to make a little couple of adjustments and um, I will make it again and it will probably be in um, more rayon fabric but anyway we shall see so that's the harmony blouse so I, I have made something <laughs> I've also made another drawstring project bag which you may have seen from last session or vlog um, I made a medium size last time this time I decided to make the small size so that the um, socks that i'm the socks that i'm making will fit in there or any socks because i do make socks and small things at times so it'll be good for children's wear as um baby wear so that um just some scraps i just made it out of scraps and you can see i've even used shoelaces for the um for the um drawstring uh, i've used an old belt for the handle this time instead of the um the self-made handle and then inside I've used more leftovers and scraps. I've got my project in here. Um, so that's the inside. So I don't like to make the inside of bags too dark. I've fallen for that um, trap in the past where I've had some scraps of dark blue or black and I've put them inside. Look fantastic, but you can't find anything because it's too dark. Um, so I made sure that the sides are um, a bit lighter and the um, full size ball, 200 gram ball fits in there quite nicely and the socks. So um, it may turn out to be a little bit too small, um, but I shall try and see how it goes. I'm sure I'll find a use for it if it's not for a project, right? Um, but I love this fabric. Um, I've, ma I've made other bags out of this fabric. In fact, I might still have it. I'll drag it out and show you in a sec. Um, and But this, this fabric here is from a skirt that I made. And I've still got some of that left, I think. I've still got some of this left. I've had it for years. Um, it's, um, I think it's a canvas. And I really like the, um, the images of Paris and the ladies. So that's um, really cute. So yeah, I'm I'm really going to enjoy that. Um, just one moment, please. I'll just get the other bag. So the other time I used that same fabric is when I made this bag, and this is a Monica Pool Spice of Life um, pattern, which I'll show you the pattern in a sec. And it's got this cool. Um, I think it's, is that called a carpet bag opening? Not sure, but I, that's what I call it. Um, I've put some trim on it and this has got the, it doesn't have feet on it. Um, this was the very first attempt at this pattern and I've made probably about eight of these over time. The inside just got the standard follow the pattern um, zips, uh, pockets. In future, um, iterations I've made a lot more pockets in them and I made the pockets bigger uh, and I, ha I think I've shown you one of my bags the pink one quite a few episodes ago out of this pattern and it looks very different um, but yeah I love this pattern this um, the pattern is amazing and this particular bag um, it's got great sentimental value because I actually my very first attempt and I love it and I always always feel like um, very funky when I use it. So that's the other time I've used this fabric. Um, 
Also, I made the same type of bag with the same fabric for a friend in the bigger version, which it turned out really big. Um, and it also has the carpet bag opening clip. Who Jacob Ivy? This thing. Um, and yeah, sure. So she's still got that bag. So this is the pattern. Uh, the Spice of Life and uh, Monica Poole sells these still, I believe, on her website and she has, she's got a lot of patterns for bag making and skirts and various things. Very simple stuff, a bit of children's wear, not a lot, but it's mainly bags. So yes, that's the other time that um, I used that fabric. Um, I've got a live stream happening tomorrow morning, Saturday. And that's Saturday the 10th at 6 a.m. Western Australia time and 9 a.m. Melbourne time, Melbourne and Sydney or Eastern Daylight Saving Time, um, which makes it Friday the 9th at 5 p.m. in New York, if that helps you at all. And it makes it Friday the 9th at 10 p.m. in London. So you're more than welcome to join in. It's the first birthday of the channel. So uh, we're going to talk all things birthdays and maybe talk about some memories and um, about uh, birthday sewing and um, just have a good chat about all sorts of things. So um, I'd love to have you on board and we will have a good gin wag. Looking forward to it. So a bit about life, I feel... <laughs> I feel like um, a little bit housebound. Um, I get up and do everything I need to do really early because we're in yet another heat wave. This is our fourth major heat wave this summer season. And we've got uh, one, two, three, f I think it's four days over 40. Well, where I particularly live, um, at, that's in Perth metropolitan area on in the foothills. So the heat gets trapped in the hills, whereas if you're on the coast, you often or sometimes get a breeze. Um, it's called the the uh, Fremantle Doctor. The Fremantle Doctor comes in. That's a breeze. It comes in, the sea breeze, comes in from the west, uh, also known as the westerly. Well, where I live, is a lot, I'm a long way from the coast. Perth is very, very wide and very long in distance. And where I live, um, I'm about... 25 or 28 kilometers from the beach so um, it's pretty hot and it takes a lot for it to move and um, get um, dispersed once the breeze is in but the old Fremantle doctor the Frio doctor doesn't really get to my place um, occasionally I feel it but it's probably 10 o'clock at night and it's still really warm the wind or the breeze so but anyway in amongst all of that it's stinking hot and uh, if I've got to go out somewhere, I will go before, before, or hopefully back by nine, um, because it's just unbelievably hot in regards to, you know, if the skin gets burnt, you can feel it burning. It's so hot. Oh, look, I just, it, things have got worse, haven't they? Um, and we're really feeling it here in WA this year. Look, I know the east coast of Australia is suffering really badly as well but very different suffering. You've got flooding happening. Hello. And I know Melbourne, you haven't had much hot weather at all. And when you do get it, it's going to be really hard to take because you haven't acclimatized. I've got a theory about that. Could be a lot of rubbish. But I think that when the, when the temperature changes, and if it changes slowly, your blood adjusts. And I think your blood gets thinner in the summer, this is what it feels like. It feels like my blood is a bit thinner in summer and so I can stand the heat if I've acclimatised to it. And then in winter, it gets thicker again and keeps me warm. That's probably a whole lot of cod's wallop. I wouldn't have a clue, but I always say that or feel that my blood's got thinner so I can cope with the heat. I don't know, crazy that way. I have some uh, interesting uh, opinions. Uh, or theories. Let's call them theories. Um, anyway, my blood's thinner. I'm used to the warmer weather now. Um, however, I don't think I will ever get used to 40, 
42, 43 predicted for today. Um, I'm not sure that that's really in my edit. I don't know that, that I'm a fan of that. So um, anyway, I've got my Sonata dress on. I am ready for it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to head off now. And um, so I hope you, all those people that are planning to come to the live stream tomorrow, looking forward to it. It's going to be great. And um, for those that can't make it uh, but are interested, it will be available later on just as a normal vlog and you'll be able to watch it that way. So until I see you again, uh, take care, uh, stay well, stay cool or stay hot or stay warm, <laughs> stay cosy um, and happy sewing. I hope you get some sewing done this weekend, by the way. Bye.